Welcome to Dependable Flame, where we explore vintage petrol lighters, ashtrays, tobacchiana, and other useful mechanisms. Make yourself at home. Today we have a vintage Delight petrol lighter made in West Germany. This is a flip top petrol lighter, also a slip case lighter. The case of the lighter is simply that, just a cover for the basic working lighter. This has advertising for Midwest Concrete Pipe Company. Interestingly enough, I've had one of these before and it was for a concrete company as well. I think a concrete busting company. Very cool. Seems to be well designed and well made. Functions pretty well. And um, pretty cool old petrol lighter. This lighter shows plenty of scuffs, scrapes, dings, dents, finish loss. It's got some damage here to the top of the case. It's a little bit more squat and low profile than a lot of lighters. not as tall as it feels like it should be for how wide it is if that makes sense I pronounced that delight looks right to me I believe these were also marketed as Drollinger I just changed that wick out and also re-wadded it. It has an MCO wick in it. it. Has a base plate there that was covered with corrosion on the inside and some had bled through to the outside but all appears to be good and in working order now just cotton balls and the Imco wick the shoot for the wick to go down was very dirty and I had to drill that out something I had never encountered before it was like the it had corroded and and the old wick had become part of the metal with the rust and and it wasn't easy to drill through. Anyway, got it through there, um, but you can still see when I wicked it, it left a little bit of residue along that wick. It does seem to be lighting just fine if you enjoy watching videos about old petrol lighters ashtrays tobacchiana and other useful mechanisms please subscribe to the channel please like the video you're watching tell your friends about the channel hit the share button send that link off in a text email, post it on social media, however it is that you communicate with folks nowadays and let them get a look at it for themselves. You can leave any comments or questions below the video. 
We would also appreciate it if you would follow and like Dependable Flame or dependableflame.com across all the social media platforms. That'll be Facebook, Pinterest, Twitter, and of course eBay. Looks like more of a well maybe not definitely on the sides it's more of a high polish look but the back almost looks like a little bit different finish I think it's just the way that it has been worn and all the scuffs and use that it has this lighter fits very snugly inside this slip case But that should inhibit evaporation, I would think. And it's not too difficult to pull it out of there. The other D-Light lighter made in West Germany that I had came in a box, which I back then I don't even think I sold it with the box. I can't remember. I went back and found the pictures and looked at the pictures of the lighter. And it was a concrete busting company in Chicago, I believe. A little bit better condition than this one. I'm not sure about the materials, the metal. The case appears to me to be brass. That is chrome plated, nickel plated, something like that but that lid looks to me like it has been painted and that that paint has worn off so maybe the lid is steel or for some other reason they would have painted it I don't know but it does appear to be painted but it, as I was saying it shows plenty of wear scuffs dings but it's a very good working lighter. Make sure you get over to eBay and check out the dependableflame.com store. Every purchase that you make there will benefit HDSA, Huntington's Disease Society of America, with at least 10% of each purchase going to HDSA. We also have three penny start auctions each month where 100 percent of the proceeds of those listings go to the charity I provide free shipping high bidder pays the money which all goes to the charity they get the lighter and everybody is happy as I was saying it's very heavy gauge feeling lighter maybe because of the low profile design of it. It may be a little clunky in the hand because of that. I don't know. Sort of like handling a subcompact pistol. Not as much down here for your hand to grip and not much up here for your thumb to get a hold of. But nonetheless, still a cool vintage design that you can't just uh, run out and buy anywhere today and they're certainly not making any more of them they may be making copies but they're not making any more of these <laughs> while you're over at eBay make sure that you follow or like dependableflame.com whatever it is that you do over there on that platform so that you get the notification each time we put up a new listing for a lighter for sale. Also, here on the YouTube channel, make sure that you hit the bell so that you're notified each time we publish a new video. Had a good time over there on Friday on the Zippo Fanatic 77 live stream. Unfortunately, my phone, or I'm not sure if it was the phone or the service, but 
the phone is still down and I can't uh, make any phone calls with it period let alone to Canada that was really disappointing but I did enjoy the time that I got to spend there in the chat talking to you guys and talking to Dylan about the Marlboro Cowgirl lighter hopefully we get a chance to do something like that again soon Until next time.